Hey guys, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to troubleshoot your wireless connection for your LED sign. Specifically, if you're using these um, TP-Link CPE210 or CPE510 models. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to give you an overview of the antenna so that you understand how they work as well as what to check for to determine if they're working correctly. So if you look at the side of the antenna here, you'll notice that there is a power, a LAN, and then there's a few signal bars. And you'll notice both antennas are exactly the same, power, LAN, and those signal bars. That's because your sign comes with two antennas, but the antennas are essentially exactly the same thing. The only difference is the programming. So one antenna will be programmed as an access point, which means it's broadcasting a network, the other one is going to be programmed as a client, which means it's receiving the network. Um, the access point, what you should have is you should have your power light lit. Depending on whether or not you have this connected to your computer or your network, because the access point doesn't have to be plugged into anything, you can connect to it wirelessly. Uh, if you do have a cable going to your computer or your network, you want to make sure that the LAN light is lit. And then you have these signal bars. So the access point, whether it's on the computer or it's on the sign, it will always have all the bars lit because it's broadcasting, right? So it's gonna have a good signal strength and it's sending that signal out. The client, on the other hand, um, the difference now is once it's programmed as a client, you will have the power, you will have the LAN, but you only have the signal bar when there's a connection between the access, bar, access point and the client. So whenever these two are connected, that's when you'll have these signal bars. So if you are trying to upload content to your screen and it says that, you know, connection error or um, check your connection, then the first thing you wanna do is to check your antennas, right? And you can look at these, these signal lights here um, to determine exactly what's happening. So if we have the power, it tells us that, okay, we've got good connection to our power source. If we have the LAN, okay, it's connected to our PC. And then if we have the signal bars and we know, okay, yeah, well, we should be connecting, right? You wanna check both of them and say, okay, well, we should be connecting. If that's the case and you have all the lights lit, um, it could be potentially, perhaps you haven't changed your sign in a few weeks or it's been a while since you've, you've made an upload and there's no activity between the two and possibly the, the connection timed out. So in that case, what you could do is to perform a power cycle. So you could power the antenna in the office off and then for the one on the sign to power this one off you basically turn the sign off uh, for about 10 seconds and then power it back on the sign's going to reboot which will you know reboot the controller inside the sign as well and then this client or access point whichever one's mounted out there will also restart right so after the reset if you if you attempt to resend your program and you're still not able to send the program to the sign then the first thing you want to do is to maybe do um, a ping command, right? And you can do a ping by going to your start menu. You, you can type CMD and then um, your command prompt should load, right? So you go ahead and open the command prompt. Then what you can do is to type ping, which is P-I-N-G. So that's um, P is in Paul, I is in Indy, N is in Nancy, G is in girl. You put a space and then you want to type the IP address of your of either your access point or your client if you know what they are in in most cases it's going to be 192.168.1.254 which will be the the access point so you can go ahead and do a ping command and see if you get a response what you should be receiving is you should be getting a message that says hey we sent packets of data we received packets of data and then it should also be showing you that the, the the packets you're receiving are coming from the IP address that you pinged, right? So if you pinged 192.168.1.254, then you should be getting responses from 192.168.1.254, right? And to be more specific, it's 192.168.1.254, and you should be receiving a response from the same address, right? So if you are getting that response, then you wanna move on to pinging the client. And the client is typically gonna be 
uh, just one one digit changed so it's 192.168.1.253 um, so you can go ahead and ping that and again we're looking for a response from the same IP address and then um, if if you do get a response from there then you want to go ahead and ping um, your sign which is going to be in most cases 192.168.1.128 uh, if your IP address is different then you can open up the program that you're using uh, if you're using these TP links then most likely you're using XM player so you can perform the steps as if you're sending programs to your sign your IP address should be listed there you can just go ahead and copy that um, and then just just use that to send your ping and you want to see if you're getting a response from there if you get a response doing the ping then your connection is restored you can just go ahead and try to resend your program and then that should solve that right if after performing those steps you ping the access point you you ping the client you get responses from both um, and you then you ping the sign you don't get a response and in that case you want to call us because that's suggesting that there's an issue with your control card so that's going to be a little bit more advanced for this video so you can go ahead and call us at that point and then we can tell you what the next steps are to get that solved uh, if you go ahead, went ahead and you ping the access point and you did not get a response so let's say the first one you performed there was no response the first thing you want to do in this case is to check your network settings so you're going to check your network settings by going to start typing control you're going to open up your control panel then in the control panel you're going to go to network and internet then in network and internet you're going to go to the um, um, network and sharing center and then on the network and sharing center this is where you'll see your network adapters uh, if you have the antenna connected to your computer then you should see your network adapter there for the sign in most cases it'll either come up as sign city or it may be listed as an unidentified network um, if you're not certain which one it is if you have multiple networks connected then what you could do is to power off the antenna once you power off the antenna then you'll notice that one of your networks are going to be dropped so you're only going to have one left so go ahead and mark the one that's still there so you know okay this is my internet I don't want to mess with that one then go ahead and plug the antenna back in um, wait for that to boot up once it comes back on you'll see the new network that appears then you want to click on the link that says Ethernet once you click Ethernet you want to go to properties then once you go to properties you want to highlight internet protocol version 4 by default the box is checked um, be sure not to uncheck the box just highlight the field once you highlight the field then you get the option to put in properties and then here you can check to see if it's set to obtain an IP address or if an IP address is already set um, typically if you're plugging directly into your computer an IP address will have to be set so what you may have there as your IP address is 192.168.1.127 which will be fine if you have some other variant like 126 or 100 uh, that should be fine as long as the IP address is not set to 128 which is the default IP address of the sign in most cases and it's not set to 254 which is the IP address of your access point or 253 which is the IP address of your client then you should be fine in most cases we'll use 127 the signs 128 then the access point 254 the client 253 so if those fields are blank um, which means maybe you did a Windows update the network drivers got updated and the settings got deleted then you just want to change those fields back and um, instead of obtain IP address automatically you want to check the field for use the following IP address and then in that field you're gonna go ahead and type in 192.168.1 1.127 then you can click into the subnet mask field that's going to populate for you automatically uh, if it doesn't or if you just want confirmation then it should be 255.255.255.0 once you've done that you hit ok you hit close and then you exit the, the, um, those menus then we can go back to our command prompt and then we're going to send that ping again so now we're going to ping 192.168.1.254, checking for our access point. 
All right, good. If that comes up, let's keep moving. Next, we check for our client, 192.168.1.254. Remember to put that ping. So ping, space, then the IP address. Uh, if that comes up, good. Now we check for the sign, 128. And if that works, then again, problem is solved. Go back to your program, and then now you can resend it. If you find that very frequently, you have to be resetting the antenna for it to work. You're not changing any of these settings, because if you have to change those settings, it typically means that's an issue with your computer. Um, something's happening, you're getting updates, or something's happening, you have to put them back in. So that has nothing to do with the sign. But let's say, for example, you go inside there, it's always there. Um, you come out, you're not able to connect, but you turn the antennas off, you turn it back on, um, and then once you turn it back on, then you're able to upload your content, but it only works for a little while, it keeps happening. So in this case, what you want to do is, we're gonna do the same ping sequence. We're gonna ping the access point. We're gonna see if we get a response. We're gonna ping the client. We're gonna see if we get a response. We're gonna ping the sign. We're gonna see if we get a response. So what that's gonna tell us is, where is the actual failure? Because if the access point and the client are responding, and the sign doesn't respond and tells, okay, there's an issue with the controller and the sign, the network port, perhaps that's having an issue, the, maybe that controller needs to be uh, replaced, um, that's where our problem is. Um, or it could be, maybe it's getting stuck on the access point, right? Um, then, okay, we gotta change the access point. Or finally, it could be the client. So then we know, okay, we just need uh, to get a new client. Um, in most cases, the access point is inside the building. Um, uh, very rarely we have issues with the access point. What I have seen though is for the client, once that's installed on the sign, sometimes they're installed sideways like this, which means the cable's coming from here. Um, so you wanna make sure when, you're, when your um, antenna's installed, it's installed like this, right? With the cable coming from the bottom. That's gonna give you the weatherproofing that you need to make sure that this thing performs for you. If you turn it this way, what's gonna happen is as you have a bad weather, depending on the direction that the rain is falling or if there's snow on there melting in, you're gonna have water getting inside here, right? And that's what we don't want, which means when you take this cover off, essentially what may happen is you end up having water going inside this port here, and then that ends up shorting out the antenna. So what you wanna do is to make sure that whenever this is mounted, it's mounted upright with that cable coming from the bottom. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, uh, what you've learned here is that there are two antennas, the access point and the client. They're essentially the same devices. They're actually interchangeable. It's just the programming that's different. Uh, you understand what lights you should be looking for, the power, the LAN, and the signal bars. The access point is always going to be broadcasting. The client, um, once it has a connection to the access point, then these lights will be lit so you'll know exactly what's going on there. Make sure it's always mounted with the cable coming down. Uh, we talked about how to send that ping command. We also talked about how to go into the network settings and make sure that the right, um, the right, uh, the right IP addresses uh, and subnet mask is is um, is set under that Internet Protocol Four. And then we talked about if um, if after performing these tests, uh, if it suggests that it's the controller that's causing the issue, then in that case you want to reach out to us so we can tell you the steps that needs to be taken to get a new controller in. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to call us at 866-343-4011. Thank you.